Growing up in the 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s was a completely different time. No internet guiding our gaming decisions, no easily accessible sources influencing our weekend rental. For the most part, we had video games sitting on a video game store shelf, some pictures on the back of the box, and some text. Gaming sure has changed over the years. Back in the day, when you rented a video game, it wasn't so simple. You couldn't just go online and look at some gameplay at your own leisure. You just had to pick up a box, look at some text and some pictures, and see if you were convinced. I found my bait and in your It's time to rewind back to Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube in 2001 and see if you'd be convinced. Luigi's won a mansion. The bad news is that it's crawling with ghosts and Mario seems to be trapped inside. Luigi's in for a spooktacular surprise as he creeps into the pitch dark mansion he won. Ghosts lurk in every nook and cranny. You'll have to master the Poltergust 3000 to vacuum them all up. Armed with only a flashlight and a vacuum custom made for sucking up ghosts. <laughs> Jewels, coins, and cash are hidden throughout the mansion, and finding it all will be worth your while. You'll have to solve the mansion's many mysteries to catch a gallery of quirky ghouls such as the fire-belching Mr. Lugs. After collecting the special medals, you'll be able to shoot fire, water, and ice from your vacuum to unearth secrets and thwart extra eerie ghosts. Deep inside the mansion hide elusive boss ghosts like Bogmire, each with ghastly powers and a ghostly bone to pick with Luigi. Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube, rated E for everyone. After hearing everything that was written on the back of the box for Luigi's Mansion and also seeing the pictures on the back of the box, try to take yourself back without any precursor knowledge. Would this have convinced you to rent the game back in 2001? I know personally for me, I love the way they describe the game. Everything is extra cheesy, a little bit with that extra cheesy horror vibes that really worked back in the day. Overall, if I'd had to judge it, I would say Nintendo did a great job wording this game and telling us all about the game on the back. Some games are very misleading as to what actually happens in the video game, but Luigi's Mansion did a great job. And I know if it were me, back in 2001, I'd totally be convinced. Hello? 